Well, hey guys, Silly Tucker, welcome back to another episode of ECW Extreme Championship Wrestling. This is, of course, Hardcore TV. Hope you all are doing well. Um, this is the go-home for Anarchy Rules. Bit of a... I don't know what to call it. I, I don't want to call it a filler show, because it's not. But we're just kind of expanding on what we know, if that makes any sense. I mean, nothing's really... Big and new going to be happening here. We're actually not in Hammerstein. We're in the Riley Center. If you want to read up on that. Hold on here. There it is. It's in St. Bonaventure. Bonaventure? It'd be... It'd be Bonaventure, I'm pretty sure. Bonaventure? Bone Adventure? Wait, what? Uh, Yeah, but whatever. We're still in New York. You know how this works. Without further ado, I just want to get right into the show. We open things up. With the new era. Fuck, they're really good together. They really are fucking good together. They come down to the ring. They address the crowd. They address what happened a couple weeks ago. And uh, Steve says, as you've heard from Rob, we're, uh, we're having a bit of a competition. Come Anarchy Rules. The two of us squaring off to determine who will become the number one contender for the ECW World Championship. Steve says, uh, and also as you've heard from Rob, when this whole thing's over, and he looks at Rob when he says this part, there's going to be no hard feelings. We are here to bring in a new era, to enlighten this company, to change the fabric, the space, and time surrounding this company. We're not here to battle each other and fight over who gets the personal glory of it all, because we both know that we have a bigger purpose than that here. We are going to usher in a new era, a new age, a new generation, so to speak, of talent to this company, a new generation of style to this company, a new flavor shot into the coffee that is Extreme Championship Wrestling. And Rob, may I, right now, in front of all these people, I want to make something very clear to you. Even though we're going to fight this Sunday, it will never change anything. And when I win, I hope you feel the exact same way. Van Damme's like, what's, what's, what's that, Steve? Uh, okay, Steve, you know, um, I, I just wanted to make sure you're aware. Uh, you said, you said when you win? Steve goes, y yeah, yeah, when I win. And Rob's like, oh, we're, we're doing this now, are we? This is, this is what we're doing again? Really? Steve's like, I don't know what you're talking about, man. I'm just... I'm just stating the facts. Van Dam says, very well. Then let me just state the facts when I say, I am 20 times your superior, and I won't break a sweat beating you. Come anarchy rules. And Steve's like, ow. But that's fine. Because you're my friend. We're working together. Isn't that right, Van Damme? And he extends his hand. And Van Damme extends his hand. And the two stare at each other. And they don't break the handshake for like a really uncomfortable amount of time. With just the two of them staring at each other. And then finally the two release... And Steven Regal leaves. And Van Dam waits for a minute. Kind of, I don't know what to call it. He kind of holds back in the ring. And then follows out a couple minutes after. I mean, not a couple minutes, but you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, this tension between the, uh, the new era. Um, it's definitely some tension, but that's what you expect from two competitors. You know what I mean? Two great competitors like these two. Um... And, uh, it's probably gonna be a fucking banger match at Anarchy Rules between the two of them. We're gonna move forward. Uh, Just Incredible beats Spike Dudley in about 9.51 by Pinfall to Death Valley Driver. That's really good. Both these guys have really good ratings together. Um, very, very proud of this opening match. It's great. Uh, so yeah, Credible picks up a win over, um, Spike, who, who I like to think has become 
what's the best way to put this? A little bit more of a uh, key player here than he originally was. Um, he never got past lower mid Carter, and I don't know if that has something to do with me, or probably has something to do with the fact that I'm only running New York right now, and um, the, the pop wouldn't be increasing elsewhere, so I can't really get him up anywhere. But he never really got over lower mid Carter this year. Um, we're kind of putting the push on hold for a hot minute, you know what I mean? Um, but it's definitely good to have another solid hand like Spike. Like, you can see his in-ring rating there. I've definitely made somebody who can work. Uh, so overall, good stuff. Very, very proud of that. Uh, and then right afterwards, uh, Mike Awesome comes down to the ring. And they just talk about how, ah, oh, Jerry, you've got no chance. Bam Bam's gonna fucking kill you, you piece of shit. Um, there's a reason why Bam Bam... Uh, chose to side with us over you, you fucking slut. You suck. And you're fucking tiny. Unlike Mike Awesome here. Mike Awesome was like, yeah, I'm big. The fuck is this promo? Uh, but you get the idea. Um, just to, just to kind of also re re reinform you guys, because I don't think I've done a very good job making sure you guys know. These guys and Bam Bam are still very much in play. Um, will we see them come Anarchy Rules? I hope not. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, I think I just want to move forward, and I think we have another angle. We do, we cut backstage, and holy fuck, it's a Sandman. We haven't seen him for about a month. Ever since he lost to the New Era, and the Sandman or whatever, he's got his cane, and the camera's up and close, and he says... I bet you you forgot about me. That's okay. Let's be honest, I've had a bit of a forgettable year, haven't I? And that... angers me. I've had a year where I've had a lot more downs than ups. I've had a year where I've had a lot more defeats than victories. I've had a lot more... What's it called? Failures. So I talked to woman. And now woman's going to talk to you. And, and the camera kind of pulls back a bit and there's woman. And she says, you see... The Sandman is correct. He has had a pretty forgettable year. But that's going to change right now. This Sandman you're seeing right here is not the Sandman you saw one month ago. This is a Sandman who has gone home. This is a Sandman who's seen where he grew up again. The drug infested streets. The poverty. What you really have to do to survive. And the Sandman has found himself again. So tonight, matter of fact, right now, I've asked Paul Heyman to put the Sandman in a one-on-two handicap match against any two sad sons of bitches who want to get their skulls cracked. And we head into that match, that very match. It's a 52 D+. Plus. The Sandman beats both Doug Furnas and Phil Lafont, the Can-Am Express, in about five minutes when Sandman just beats Doug Furnas with a flying leg drop. The Sandman is fucking pissed this entire match. He just beats the shit out of both of them. They're trying to use their advantage on him. The numbers game, but they just can't. Sandman's fighting like an animal, you know what I mean? Woman talked about that surviving sense, you know what I mean? Seeing his home again, seeing what he's come from, seeing how far he's gotten, seeing the scars that are still on him from that time. Like his alcoholism, probably. Like, that's that's probably a big one. Um, but Sandman just fucking wallops these two dudes. Stands victorious, and if there was ever a way hit a reset button on a gear. I think that's the way to do it. It's a very violent, very dominant, very decisive period type of match. That makes sense. Sentence ender. 
So Taz is in the ring, and he says, sooner or later, you know, I'm going to need to start looking elsewhere. And Paul Heyman, wherever you are there in the back, I want you to hear this. I want you to hear that if I do have to go somewhere, I will be taking my belt with me, whether you want me to or not. I'd be taking this belt, and I'd go to Japan. I'd go to Mexico. I'd go to Britain. I'd go to Canada. I'd travel the different territories here in America. I would go high and low, far and wide, from the North Pole to the South Pole, from the deserts of Africa to the mountains. In Africa. <laughs> There's not a single place I wouldn't go to find competition. To find the hunt. So Paul Heyman, I'm giving you another shot. Send some... And then all of a sudden... I don't I don't know Stevie Richards' theme. Fuck. My bad. I'm sorry. I should add that to my fucking playlist. Uh, so I know these things. I have, a, I have an ECW music playlist on my Spotify. Um... Which, I don't know. Do you guys want the link to that? Maybe comment below if you want the link to that. Because it's just kind of the themes and stuff like that I have in my head. Um, but since it's Spotify, right? Like, I can't really, like... What's the word? Uh, put, like, a note on it like I could on YouTube. Where I'd be like, oh, this is this person's theme. If you want me to make a YouTube playlist, right? With all the themes, let me know. Because I can do that. Um, I don't know, just something I like to do when I'm thinking or booking or whatever. Writing, maybe. Um, but anyways... It's Stevie Richards. Richards comes back and he says, Hey, buddy, you old pal. How's it going? Taz is like, Stevie, how are you, pal? Stevie says, Hey, all right, I'm great. But here's the thing. All right, I know I've only been back two weeks. I've only had one match. It was a tag team match, but I won it. And you've been talking about finding competition. N not just finding competition, though. Finding new competition. New sites unconquered. You're looking at a site. And let me check my, uh... Let me check my log book here. And literally, Stevie, like, pulls out a book from his fucking back pocket. And rolls through it. And he says, nope. Closes it. I'm unconquered. Taz says, You, Stevie, you want to fight me for the chance at winning this belt. Oh, I'm sorry, excuse me, I slip of the tongue there. The chance to lose. Oh, jeez, what's wrong with me? I must be having a bad day. You want to lose to me. To allow me to retain my belt. And for you to just kind of be stuck. That's that's what you want, isn't it? Is that what you're telling me right now? Stevie says, now listen, Taz, I know you've got you. I know you're feeling pretty confident right now. I know you're feeling good. I know you're feeling like you're you're the little engine that could. Is that right? Is that right? Yeah, I see it in you. But Taz... You keep talking about competition. I don't think you're going to turn me down. You want to know why? Because I've spent the last year away from this company, traveling all across the world. I faced the best, and I've beaten some of the best. Okay, I, I, I beat, like, a few of the best. There were, like, let me, okay, there was, like, if there were, like, okay, let's say that there were 20, well, in Texas, enough, Stevie, okay, I don't care what happened. You're in, okay? Sunday, Anarchy Rules, me versus you, television championship, you're on, be there, and beat me if you can, but survive, if I let you, so there you go, there you have it, we have another match here for Anarchy Rules, I think we have a few more than this, don't we, um, we have another match here, though, for Anarchy Rules. It's the television championship. It's Stevie Richards. 
Where is he? Stevie Richards taking on ECW World Television Champion, the Human Suplex Machine, Taz. Looking forward to that. Uh, we got the Dudley Boys. They're coming down to the ring as they make their way down to the ring. Come here to explain. This is our main event for tonight. It's uh, the Dudley Boys, and they're going to take on the fuck is that? Oh, thing popped up in my corner. Um, somebody playing a game on Steam. Uh, oh shit, I lost my lost train of thought. Whoa. Um, shit, 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 shit. Right. Uh, you know the Dudley Boys are the tag team champions. They're not in action at Anarchy Rules, but they will be paying very close attention to the Hardy Brothers versus the Stormtroopers. Uh, match five of the best of five series. You gotta watch out for that. Tied 2 2. But, uh, you know what I mean? They wanna stay in safe. So they've asked for a match tonight, and, uh, they've gotten their opponents. And in the main event of the evening, in a 65C, former tag team champions, the FBI, are defeated by the current tag team champions, the team that they lost to, the Dudley Boys, when Bubba beats Tracy Smothers by pinfall with a 3D after about 16 11. This match is back and forth. Because as much as I've kind of fucking jobbed out <laughs> Tracy Smothers and kind of this whole tag team, they are former tag team champions. They're fucking deadly still. There's still a lot here in the FBI tag team. It's just if Guido decides to see it or not. And the two of them take it to the Dudleys for the longest time. They're smart. They're crafty. They use Tommy Rich to their advantage. But it's just not enough at the end of the day. The Dudleys, the tag team champions, they pick up the win. Very competitive match. Very impressive showing from the FBI. And to end out the show, Tommy Dreamer's in the ring. And he just he just cut he just starts saying, Why? Why'd you do it, Shane? Wherever you are, I'm I'm assuming you're here. Why? Why did you decide to stick your nose where it didn't belong? Why did you decide to kick a man while he was down? Why? I fucking want answers, Douglas. If you don't fucking come down here, if you don't fucking come down here, I'm going to find you wherever you are, and I'm going to get my answers, whether I have to coerce them from you or whether I have to... I don't know if you guys can hear me, but I'm cracking my knuckles. Coerce them from you. And Perfect Stranger hits, and Shane Douglas, and Shane comes down, and he says, Tommy, Tommy, listen, all right? First of all, you don't call out the franchise. <laughs> the franchise comes out if he feels like it. <laughs> uh, fuck, I fucking messed myself up with my own shitty laugh gimmick. But Tommy, it's quite a simple equation, isn't it? You came after me. I didn't come after you. Tommy's like, the fuck you mean? The fuck you mean? Douglas is like, Tommy, you came after me the moment you started your started calling yourself the heart and soul of this company, of ECW. Because you're not the heart and soul, aren't you? If you are the heart and soul, this company died a long time ago. Because its heart, at this point, has taken so many beatings, it couldn't possibly be functioning. But on my side, sure. I lost the world championship, but I never got my rematch, did I? No, no, no. I went on to fighting a fucking savage psychopath, surviving that war, giving Sabu a ticket of his own. Nice to see you there, buddy. Know you're watching from home. How's that cast feeling? But at least... At least I'm not a fucking loser like you, Tommy. Do you see the way I walk around? Do you see the way I carry myself? It's befitting of somebody who's identified as the face of a company. Well, you, you walk around in your... outfit. With your side street whore. Going around crying and whining about how, Oh, I love these people. I love this company. Huh. It's pathetic. It's sad. It's disgusting. Somebody like you, Tommy, is not befit to be the face 
the franchise, <laughs> the heart of a company like this. So before I have to come down there and deck you, myself, and before I have to come down there and give you another reality check, I'm going to give you an opportunity to give it to yourself. Have a good week, dreamer. And that's your show. It's a 70C+. Plus. Our pops up in seven regions. Very, very, very good stuff. Um, right. Yeah, shit. We don't have, like, any, like, fucking pretense shit. It's just right into Anarchy Rules. Um, you can see right there who we're gonna fucking deal with or whatever. Um, but shit, yeah, I can't even, like, really talk about anything, really. We're just here at the pay-per-view. Uh, this will be next episode. Anarchy Rules will be. Uh, I hope you guys are excited for it. Uh, remember Jerry Lynn versus Bam Bam Bigelow, Jeff Hardy, Matt Hardy versus, uh, Lance Storm, Chris Candido, um, what else do we got on the card, Taz versus Stevie Richards, Steven Regal versus Rob Van Dam, uh, and probably a couple other matches, uh, to fill out time, uh, you know, some, some unadvertised matches, um, we might see the Sandman in action, um, but without further ado, I want to thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys thought that this episode was worth it after me kind of saying at the start. I wasn't too sure if it was or not. Um, but of course, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Silly Talk. Signing out.